Hello everybody and welcome to my video. My name is Michael and today on the bench we have this nice Seconda mechanical watch. This one has a really nice dial, very nice finish to, to the dial, two shades. It seems to be over wound and everything else seems to work just fine. Let's see if the date works okay. Yes, everything is, seems to be in working condition except the overwinding of the watch. I really like this nice bracelet. I don't know if it's the original one, but it fits very nice with this case. We have some wear signs. I found this watch on eBay. It was really really cheap and in this video we are going to tear it down. Initially I was planning to make a full video with the restoration but I think it is better if I make two separate videos. First one with the disassembly and the second one with the cleaning of the parts and the full assembly. Right now let's go ahead and remove the bracelet back of the watch case. I am putting this watch into this uh, support, plastic support, so I can remove the parts easily. As you can see, the watch has been worn pretty much. We have some dirt. Let's see if we can remove this easily. Okay. These bra bracelets will need some thorough cleaning. I don't like how this uh, spring bar looks like, but I think I might, I might need to reuse it because if we look closer on the other uh, bracelet, We can see that the case link and the bracelet itself is made for these uh, thick spring bars. I think you can find online some thicker spring bars, but the ones you can uh, use right now, or at least I have, are thinner. Let's remove the back case. It's interesting because only the outer circle is moving. So we have a back case that is made from two parts. We also have a serial number, I think. Under this rotating circle we have a rubber band. I think I have to reuse it, but from the looks of it, it still has some elasticity left on it. And after we'll clean it up very good, it will do a good job sealing the case. So this is the movement of the watch, 17 joules. Seconda it's a, comp it's a British company, but many of their watches were sold in the former Soviet Union. And we, you could see this movement on other Soviet watches like Polyot or Slava. Let's remove the stem. The stem 
got out very easy I like this thing because most of the vintage watches have some problems on the stem or on the parts that are uh, that are working in that area it's the two two six one four dot two age movement it features a manual wind a sweep second and a date and the date that is uh, set by changing changing the time near the 24 hours uh, area it has 17 joules and a power reserve of uh, 46 hours before i get the movement out of the case I want to release the tension and the power from the mainspring so I, I won't be putting too much pressure on the whole movement while it sits on a stand. Unfortunately I cannot do this unless I remove the click screw and the click itself. Yes, I've tried it but the click has a special design and there is no position where you can uh, move the mainspring um, anti-clockwise So the screw went off, I have to be careful to see what was the position of the spring and gently remove the tension, let's get the screw out of the way, it doesn't really want that does it? Okay, indeed the movement or the watch was over wound. I'm not going to put the screw back and see if the watch works. I will remove it, clean it, assemble it and hopefully, hopefully we have life on it. Another thing I will have to reuse is the glass, that's because the case has a really special form and I, I don't think I can find the right size for the glass and the, and the right shape. The dial is in perfect condition, let's remove the hands, let's remove the dial and start disassembling the watch. By the way, I got new hands removal tools. As someone on this channel suggested me.
also bought two new watch movement holders this one is far more better than the last one I've been using I apologize for the hissing sound I don't know what hap what happened to the microphone anyway this hissing sound will not last very long only for a short period of time It seems we have some dirt on the main spring. Sc balance cock screw along the whole balance wheel. This is the hardest thing to do when you work on a watch movement, in my opinion, because the balance wheel is the most sensitive part. I don't really like it. This time it went okay. Here we have some, we have a uh, thin uh, metal that is raising the balance wheel a little bit. the escapement wheel and right now let's remove the plate that is holding the main spring barrel This movement has a separate part that is keeping the center wheel which is very good for the time when we are going to assemble the movement because with this metal plate the center wheel is kept in place and it's a lot easier to insert the cannon pinion. It seems that the center wheel and the cannon pinion are not fully joined together. We will repair this on the assembly. Now let's remove the cock and the pallet fork and proceed to the front of the watch. The front of the watch is not that complicated. We have a metal plate that is fixed with 
three screws after we remove this metal plate we have some uh, we have an interesting mechanism for the date What I don't like on this side is that they've used three springs, very small springs on this uh, movement, which are very hard to get out and, and especially hard to get back in. This is the first one and it seems to help the mechanism that is changing, changing the date. The date dial looks really really nice, almost as new. This is another spring, again it is used for the date it keeps the date dial fixed here we have another small plate and under this plate we have some wheels for the adjustment of the time yes two smaller wheels and a bigger one that goes all the way to the canyon pinion as you can see the canyon pinion has uh, have has some movement We remove these uh, wheels and head over to the whole mechanism for the stem. That's the third spring. I hope I will not I hope I will not have too many problems when assembling this movement and of course the springs. Now the final touch, taking out the cannon pinion. Indeed it was not completely united with the center wheel this is the center wheel and the movement is completely disassembled there's going to be a lot of work on this watch now I'm screwing back the screws for the dial 
I don't want to lose any of it and that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you have reached this far without jumping over you are great enjoy the other videos on my channel be sure to subscribe and if you like this video share it with your friends so they can relax while are watching me disassemble this nice seconda watch thank you and take care bye bye